This is Twit. But we've been talking about it for a while, this uh, modern Windows thing. I saw this and I thought, yeah. you know, that I would be interested in that if they started from the ground up. <laughs> it, are they? No. <laughs> that no. would be nice. <laughs> no such luck. Well, it's a major it, undertaking, but... Yeah. No, it's not that. Not that at all. But before so, we even get into that, I need to rant. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh -oh. Because it's, well, it's a rant friend. related to this. Uh-oh, mm. I got the gong ready. Okay. Okay, 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 we're ready. <laughs> okay, so Microsoft is at Computex, like all their PC maker partners. They put out this long blog post talking about all the new PCs that everyone's showing at Computex. Then they throw in this paragraph about a modern OS mm. into it. That's where I saw it, yeah. So, guys, we we say this on Windows Weekly every week, but can you communicate, please? Can you By the way, really, really? I, I just I want to tell you how much I enjoy the fact that you're ranting about something that I want to rant about because <laughs> this is this is absolutely a huge problem. The way they did this, but it's they are terrible. enabling the they innovation and opportunity on the intelligent edge. The oh, way they did this and <laughs> where oh, yeah. and how is so horrible. Yeah. Well, and they dropped this thing on us last night at, you know, 8 p.m. or something. I literally, yeah. I looked at it on my phone. I had to install Word on my phone. <laughs> it was too small to read because it doesn't yep. properly, you know, <laughs> scroll around. I went by on my computer. I booted the thing up again. I looked at it. I was like, PC, PC, modern OS, yep. IoT, nothing. And so I forwarded it to Mahedi. And I yep. said, I don't know if you're around tonight, but if you are, look through this. See if you see anything interesting. It doesn't look like there's anything important here. I'll yep. look at it again in the morning. <laughs> then I looked at it again in the morning, and I was Oops. like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. They may have just dropped the first public hint about LightOS, probably, or whatever we're calling this thing. Um, and here's the yeah. proof. Well, I, I wouldn't call it proof. Well, there's a bunch of problems, right? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. So yeah. one is, okay, they announce all these PCs at Computex with their partners, and they're all running Windows 10. Some are running mm -hmm. probably 1803, mm -hmm. some 1809, maybe some even 1903. And then they start talking sure. about this aspirational idea of, here's where we'd like to take our operating system platform in the future. Yeah. So none of those PCs that are shown are running this. That's right. Right? And they probably they're will not Windows be. 10. Right. right, right. In <laughs> fact, all of those PCs are premium computers. They are. They're going to be running advanced versions of Windows 10. Right. You got to, you got, so, this is a, I, I, I broke this, this <laughs> Leo's zooming in if you can't see it on uh, the text of the thing. I broke this yeah. down in my own article because this is, I often use this as, as a joke, but it is particularly applicable in this case. If you were to push this through Word and ask it to summarize it, it would come up with a blank page. It almost <laughs> says nothing. What's the, f the first sentence isn't even grammatical. These new modern PCs and innovative devices, the ecosystem will continue to build <laughs> and bring to market in the future. Oh, comma, require a modern operating yes. system. But right. unfortunately, these, they're not getting it. They're that. not they're getting, getting it. They're getting. Mm -hmm. So so that's that's the premise is these are great new PCs, which require a modern operating system, not the one they're running. Yeah. But which you know, well, because the very first enabler they discuss is seamless updates that are done invisibly in the background, in the background. with a deterministic, but, reliable, and instant no interruptions. Experience. Right. No interruptions. So you know, okay. So a couple more points. Microsoft uses the word modern, um, just helter skelter throughout <laughs> their world. <laughs> yep. Like well, remember UWP Windows was briefly modern. Windows remember? had the modern UI, right? Wasn't Windows it? eight apps were modern, yeah. right? Modern for, Metro, uh, for, about, for about for about ten minutes. The Metro design language at one point was called modern, I believe, right? That's right. Um, no, you're right. Right, right. Windows, uh, Microsoft three sixty five is known as the modern desktop. Yep. That's how Microsoft pitches it. Right. So this word modern is super loaded in the Microsoft world. And then they start talking about a modern operating system. And they have all these goals, like you said, the seamless updates. They've got um, seamlessly switching between Wi Fi and LTE, 5G. 5G, 5G um, specifically. Right. Do we think um, that any of these are actually going to support 5G? No. no. Well, maybe that Lenovo device that they wouldn't say which version. Of Windows, no, no, it I mean, was running. The ones they announced no. in this thing specifically. By okay. the way, these aren't merely enablers. I see in the second paragraph, <laughs> they're enablers and delighters. 
Delighters. Okay, so and that is the one. <laughs> That's not a word. Is Delighters no, I, a word? I sent Microsoft a note back when I saw Delighters, right. and I said, and by the way, Delighters is not a word. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, and way, I said, everyone's going to make fun see, of you for using it. <laughs> they, use the, they, use, they use the word vision there, which means it's not what we have today. <laughs> and then for the first time, modern is capitalized. Oh, that means it's a but proper modern noun. modern desktop is too. Modern desktop is I know, a, a I know, capitalized but now it's, term. No, but nowhere else in this. Th oh, right. The nowhere else in the. Capitalized. Nowhere else. Okay. <laughs> nice. This doesn't okay, really, so this really, this must, services, who myself. wrote this? I don't know. Right. And so everyone listening, we're not we're not being grammar nitpickers here as much as it sounds like we are. We're just trying to say um, when you read this, you oh, don't know what this is discussing. It makes no sense. No, no, I, actually, I, we're, not, we're absolutely not being nitpickers. I, one thing that we have developed carefully honed skills for because we cover Microsoft is parsing their language to understand what it is they're really trying to say. Right. Now, what's beautiful about this is this could very closely follow another story that we'll have coming up later about this Windows Home Ultra thing mm -hmm. where they could come back later and say, guys, guys, we never said anything about another operating system. We're not mm -hmm. talking about anything that's not Windows. You know, <laughs> it's the, the you're, future you're, of Windows, maybe. They, they could completely uh, deny this. But here's the thing. I Reading this, and I, anyone watching the show should read this. I mean, if you're interested in Windows at all, which it seems like you would be, why does it say brick wall into my name, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Paul? Anyway. Uh, I'm um, trying to figure out where you are, and the only, the only yeah. geographic feature I can see is sure. brick wall. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. anyway. Um, <laughs> so I th I believe, I believe, and now this is just, an, this part's an opinion for sure. I think this is their first public feeler for what they're planning, and I think it's light OS. I think what they're t what they're trying to get into people's ideas uh, heads is the idea that there'll be a, this other thing that will be a modern take on an operating system. By the way, By the way is that more lower than one, or uppercase? <laughs> yes. Well, in that case, yeah. lower. Okay. Um, more than one person has said to me, or has said on Twitter or wherever in comments, it sounds like they're describing iOS. And and that's it actually does. very insightful because we know from dealing with Terry Meyerson in the past that his plan for the App Store ecosystem and everything was not to model Android, right? But was mm -hmm. rather to be more like iOS. And he meant that right. literally in the good and bad sense. Like he wanted it to be a walled garden, protected, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, locked off. And uh, I, I, that's very interesting because if you, if you kind of read it, it's like one of those things, change the words, you know, change it from modern OS to iOS. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, this pretty much does describe it's, iOS. It's really, a, <laughs> I would say it's a manifesto for what an operating system should be. Yeah, yes. I feel I like that too. I don't yeah. feel like it's doable. Me neither. Um, <laughs> none, of, none of the existing operating systems, including Chrome OS or iOS, do seamless updates with no interruptions. In every yeah. case, you have to reboot. Um, yeah. Secure by default, that's a nice aspirational mm -hmm. goal, but yeah. as we know, undoable. Always connected. Never have to worry about a dead spot, but what if I'm in a dead spot? Mm -hmm. Well, by the way, just so, in case it's not obvious, there are a couple of terms in, the, in there that are Microsoft classics. <laughs> Secure by default goes back to yeah. the yeah. Trustworthy Computing yeah. Initiative 2002, I think it was. Always connected, right, as the always connected PC. Uh, initiative that Microsoft and Intel both have, uh, both with different hyphenations. Um, <laughs> and then there are some actual brand new terms in here, which Cloud I think are connected, very interesting. by the way, is hyphenated. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Intel uh, hyphenates always connected, Microsoft doesn't. Um, <laughs> Multi-sense is interesting, right? Because it's not describing anything we're not uh, comfortable with already today for the most part. Maybe gaze is a little different, but I don't believe I've ever seen that term. I could be, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but they it seems like they're putting... They define it as people can use pen, voice, touch, even gaze, whatever input mm -hmm. user method wants to work. Yeah, so gaze is like the stuff in HoloLens where with your eyes you can look up to the corner right. and essentially select Sam objects. Samsung's had that for a couple of years now. Yeah. Uh, to, with mixed yeah. success. Yeah, but Samsung but is modern, it. Leo. That's, that makes oh. sense. <laughs> yeah, actually, they could be describing um, iOS, except for seamless updates, secure by default, yeah. always connected, and sustained right. performance. <laughs> by the way, I, the, the, the phrase form factor agility, which is brand new to me, 
is yeah. another way of saying one Windows, right? It's this notion yeah. that you're going to have a single modern OS in this case. We're kind of redefining things that's going to work on multiple form factors. It's just a cute new way of saying it. Mm -hmm. Form factor agility means they have the right sensor support and posture awareness to enable the breadth of innovative form factors and applications our partner system will deliver. In other words, the sensors yeah. are built in to say you can use this in, you know, lying on your back, sitting upright, mm -hmm. leaning over. Really, when I hear form factor agility, I think mm -hmm. mm, phone, tablet, right. PC. iOS. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, I think every, this is aspirational. It's a manifesto. It is. I think every operating system probably should aspire to this. And I feel I, like I this has been their manifesto. Like the manifesto. <laughs> this is the same manifesto they've had, right? Like always connected. That's always been, that's been a goal for years. And instant on, right? All these things, connected standby, all these things. And I feel Are like they've never say, gotten there. <laughs> that this is marketing nonsense. Uh, maybe. Actually, um, it's worse than marketing nonsense because they're not actually selling anything. You know what I feel you know, like it is? They're it's selling an, a vision. It's a cut and paste of an internal document. I kind of do too. And you know what? We we thought they were going to talk about Windows Lite at Build. And then when they yeah. didn't, you kind of wonder if the team who was at Computex didn't get the message and they were like, oh, wait, they announced yeah. that, didn't they? Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I guess hey, we just what? did. Um. <laughs> so by the way, I, I've sort of, like you probably, you, you have to, because again, we write about Microsoft, we're, we're, we're semi-obsessed on this topic. I think about this stuff, like what, what was the point of this or why wouldn't they have done this at Build, et cetera, et cetera. I have to think with the timing of what, piece, think about when PCs are announced. Uh, CES, announced mm -hmm. but not released. Computex, announced and released in time for the back to school season, right? And then of course yeah. at IFA in the fall in time for, announced and released in time for the holidays. If you go back to Build, it's, Build is obviously closer to Computex but it's between uh, CES and Computex. I, my thinking is, they wanted to announce this, but there was someone in the partner ecosystem or something who said, mm -hmm. guys, we can't announce a new operating system in May and then later in May announce a ton of new computers running the old operating system. We can't yeah. do that. That's crazy. Plus, um, now, they're not ready. Light's not ready. I mean, yeah, that's the okay. other thing. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't want to totally tip their hand and say, hey, we got this thing. It's called Windows Light. It has Windows Core OS inside, and here's how it's going to handle updates. Um, does it exist yet? No. Is it on any test devices? Is it anywhere? I, no. The week, nope. the week of build, I heard they were still debating what this thing even was. Yeah. You know, it's I mean, not it anywhere near available. ready, right? Right, right. So I, right. I, my guess now. So anyway, given the fact that they did say, okay, look, they said it. It almost like uh, someone, uh, Leo, I think said it. It sounds like something, from, or one of you said it. It sounds like something from an internal document. It does. In fact, I kind of wonder if someone copied and pasted it by mistake into the press release. I kind of wondered it, that too. It yeah. doesn't make sense in the flow of the document, but no. okay, it's out there. So when would <laughs> you be mean the like next they time? accidentally pasted know, too be, much? Right? Well, it looks. It, it, it feels like make that. Sense. No, here's a bunch of computers. Little, yeah. Here's huh? Yeah. Oh, and here's they won't run stuff. this operating system, but maybe someday, in the perfect but, you know, world. It's, the other thing they have to explain when they ever do decide to start talking publicly about Windows Core OS and Lite, they have to explain to people, okay, so your Windows 10 is not going away, right? Because um, Microsoft and its partners are continuing to develop on Windows 10. There are Windows 10 test builds coming out through next year already, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Microsoft 365 uses Windows 10 as it exists today. So you can't just say to them, hey, we get this thing over here. It's not even going to be called Windows. So, yeah, that's the future. And, uh, yeah, you're running this past, I guess. This piece of crap that you're running. is. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry I, about that. It, it's uh, Well, it's a tough marketing message. Uh, and, uh, listen, I, uh, we've, we, we, there's some things we kind of know about this light OS stuff. There's some things we kind of speculate. Yeah. When I think about this, I, I think of something that is very much like Chrome OS. And I have to say, in a world in which people mostly use their phones to do computing tasks – but sometimes need a bigger screen and a keyboard. I actually think a system like that makes sense. And in the same way that Microsoft taking Chromium and turning it into a non-Google version of that makes sense, I, I, a Microsoft Chromebook kind of thing makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for normal people, it's fine. And, yeah. and Windows 10 becomes like the workstation OS. It's the thing for complex tasks, for developers, for engineers, scientists, gamers, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, that's fine. It's... It's just that we don't have this thing yet. I just made up what I just said. It, it doesn't exist. So, yeah. so it makes sense, but 
you know, lots of things make sense. The positioning, how they position this and explain who it's for and if it comes out in stages, which I bet it will, like, will Win32, yeah. the ability well, to run Win32 yes, apps be you. there from day one? That's right? that actually, that's the crux of it is it how kind of is. app compatibility because that's what killed Windows 10S and S mode and, yep. and Windows RT before it. Right. Those 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 systems also suffered from looking just like Windows. They were they were Windows, and so mm -hmm. when when you get this thing that is Windows and it doesn't run Windows apps, it's very confusing. Um, Light OS, from what I've seen, is not going. It's actually going to look a lot more like Chrome OS unless they change it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that will help. But if the thing could run, even if it run them ran them poorly through virtualization or remotely or however it works, um, that would be better than not being able to run those apps. It, well, that's their goal. Like I've I've yeah. talked to people who said it is going to run Win32 apps, but the when is the question. And yeah. if it's virtualization, like is that going to be good enough? Like you said. Oh, um, speaking of which, <laughs> the other thing is if you read through this document, you know, we talked about replacing the the word the words modern OS with iOS. The other mm -hmm. thing you could replace them with is a Qualcomm Snapdragon powered PC. Oh yeah, because mm -hmm. it reads a lot like that. Well, and, and that yeah, means yeah. the future, if, right? I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I wonder if that's part of the vagueness of it and the future-leaning nature of it is that they are, in fact, waiting on the Qualcomm 8CX, which we now know is delayed until next year, um, mm -hmm. to happen because that's what they're relying on. Mm. You know? I, that's, yeah. again, just speculating, but uh, in yeah. the sense that we have to read between the lines here because that's yep. what we have to do. You know, part of me, part of me wonders... Um, and this is why we're not a Computex, but I would love to be in a way because maybe they threw this paragraph in there because they're going to start telling partners now about light, yeah. like officially telling them, right? And so if you're at Computex, you have to have something you could point to and say, see, we, we kind of gave people an indication of where we're going. Um, <laughs> and here's what we want this? you to do, partner. <laughs> but here, here's the problem I have with this whole, aside from the obviousness of the terribleness of how this thing was released or announced. Um, they just had a conference called Build. We, it's for developers. It is by definition future leaning. We know that they were struggling to find good, you know, exciting content. content. This, <laughs> this would have been good and exciting. And by the way, from a communications perspective, that would have been an ideal time for Microsoft to go public, even if it was vague, and say, hey, look, here's what we're thinking. This is a vision. But we want to engage the community. And the community includes mm -hmm. literally the enthusiasts, the insider program, it, enterprise, uh, developers, partners. This is what we're thinking. Let's gather feedback. And let's make sure we're all going together into this forward, you know, into this future mm. that makes sense for everybody, right? But they don't do that. They cut and paste something from an internal document, throw it in the middle of a <laughs> press release, and hope that nobody notices it. it it's it's just bizarre. Yeah. And I, I guarantee um, you they're going to come back and say, guys, there is nothing in that statement that says anything about anything that's not Windows. They're going oh, yeah, to. They already it, they already gave me that statement. Would you like to hear? There it? you go. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Um, I said, um, so that paragraph about the, you know, modern operating system, what about that? Yep. There's no hidden meaning here and there is no news. That's exactly what they said. <laughs> I, I disagree and with if asked to testify sentences. in front of Congress, I will read yep. it out loud. Uh, could you define is, please? <laughs> I, I, I really think, I, I, I feel like there's this it huge tug this. of war going on. Oh, <laughs> I do. it's an internal battle. I feel like there's maybe That's like Kevin before. Gallo's group is saying, yep. guys, we got to tell people about this. Like it's coming yep. and, you know, it might not be till next year, but we got to tell them about Windows Core it's OS and like where we're going and what's happening. Then there's the other people who are like, yeah, we got tens of thousands of people about to move from Windows 7 to Windows 10. This is a really mm -hmm. bad time to tell them, hey, your operating system's oh, obsolete. Good point. It, actually, but you know what though? <laughs> it, what what stinks is that Microsoft wasn't ready for this. In other words, knowing that the Windows Seven end of life was going to occur, mm -hmm. what they should have done is had that system ready to go. Because here yeah. is something you could I don't want to call it an upgrade, but migrate to from Windows Seven that would be a material improvement for a lot of people because it would be Except. simpler. To use if it doesn't run Win32 apps. Well, I agree. But in an enterprise, what if it, it could run them remotely? I mean, Chrome OS can yeah. do that. Yeah. That's that's the one. I bet that's one of the big things. Like, yeah. do we announce this without Win32 and then everybody just calls it Windows 10S again? Or do we not right. do that? Yeah, right. I, they they certainly cannot withstand a third strike on, <laughs> on that. I don't know. It just yep. felt, it felt so rushed. 
maybe it wasn't, but it felt rushed. It felt unready. It felt like a weird way to start bringing that conversation into focus. And I I was just kind of like, really? So uh, when I wrote about this, I said, I'm not even sure this is light OS. I mean, I kind of thought it was, but I'm like, maybe it is, maybe it isn't because they use the word modern a lot and they have a lot of aspirational goals every year with Windows. So maybe they're not tipping their hand on that. Maybe. It's, if only there was some clear way to explain that what they meant was this is aspirational for Windows 10. If only. Oh, wait, there is. It's called the English language. You know, <laughs> I, 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 again, you said it. I mean, we complain about this all the time. Um, their inability to communicate is legendary. But it's <laughs> it's not even funny anymore. It's, it's like it's just sad. I mean, there is yeah. no reason for the poorness of this communication. It, it's... It's embarrassing. It should have been. Honestly, it would have been valuable as a separate post. Yeah. You know, do the... I mean, it's. I think these new laptops look great. And yes, they're running yep. Windows 10. But do a mm-hmm. separate post saying, hey, we have a vision for what a good operating yeah. system should be. And it's here's our vision. That, Leo. They actually had three separate posts. <laughs> and this was only one of them. Uh. And for some reason, they thought to jam it into the middle of two concrete strange, announcements. Yeah, it's a strange place yeah. to put it. Um, but, I, but I think that it would be an appropriate <laughs> post to say, hey, look, we want to throw this out there because we think we want to we want to start a conversation about what the mm. perfect operating system would would have. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, what? that, that would actually would have been a great way to do that. I, I like your thinking on that, because if you did it as this is where we're going in the future, then again, you get into that problem yeah. like, oh, should I no. upgrade or not no. upgrade? Right. No. Yeah, don't say uh, but if you just it. say we're just thinking at a high yeah. level about these concepts and we want you guys to weigh in. I suspect that would have been great. That's also <laughs> honest. Unless yeah. you think well, they're the way, building this. But how would they you... are building it? They're building it. <laughs> is oh, it yeah, light? Is, is, it, is this the Windows yeah. light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we pretty. I wish they were building it from scratch. The thing is, though, listen, it's it's the virtuous cycle thing again. Right. So. Uh, Light OS is not a completely new thing. It's still based on the same componentized, you know, Windows system, whatever. There yeah. are things they're gonna they can bring to Light OS that may seem new and exciting, but many of those things are going to be applicable to Windows as well. I mean, for all of the negatives that surround any classic desktop operating system, complexity and the terribleness of updating and so forth. I mean, there are numerous benefits, and for people who do certain things with a computer, that type of machine is going to be a necessity forever for them right yeah. and that's fine i mean you don't have to it doesn't have to be positioned like we're replacing windows no you know we're 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 this augmenting is our goal. windows yeah yeah, yeah. this is yeah. what which is where we would like to take windows right yeah. and it'll those, still yeah. be yeah. called certain, windows 10 right and, and if you could say that some of the things were coming back to regular windows 10 of course um of that course. would that would come well, a lot look, of at, all, look at all that stuff in other words it's like um how does instant on work on a PC today, really, right? Sometimes it works, right. sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes yeah. it's kind of instant. Sometimes it's like, why isn't the thing turning on? You know, it's 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 a computer. It's a complicated architecture. It's a complicated system. It just and doesn't work all the time. We know that. We're, we're just, that's the truth, right? So <laughs> the goal is for that to always work. I don't think it can work with Windows, but maybe it can work with this future thing, mm-hmm. which will be mm-hmm. simpler and whatever. Right. So they, they haven't even... They haven't even described Windows Core OS publicly yet, but it's going to be the underpinnings. We are strongly confident Mary Jo, of they haven't even thing. admitted that that exists publicly. No, they haven't. <laughs> let, Although, let I mean, they have. Describe it. I've yeah. asked people about it, and they they're like, "Yeah, we're not ready to talk about it yet." So it, they've said it, but not like in a blog post or formally sure. or whatever. But right. um, I think I think they need to to start talking about that and explain, okay, this is how we're going to do this. We're going to take this thing. We're going to extend one core. We're going to try to do better with it. We're going to make this thing called Windows Core OS. Then we're going to put shells on top of it. You know, all the things that we've been writing about that no one's ever written officially from Microsoft. I think it would go a long way to calming people down and just say, this is where we're going in the future. This is aspirational. But we think some of these concepts that we're working on and building already for this thing, Windows Core OS, are going to come back into the windows that you know and love and make it better. This right? assumes two things. Uh, one, that they can communicate, which, A, we know they can't. And uh, <laughs> second, that that they actually have a plan. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm sure they have ideas. I know. I know. You know I, I'm, I'm not sure it's as well thought out as what you just described. I think that's part of the problem. It, maybe yeah. it goes back and forth. Maybe there are differing opinions about what the right way to do this is, mm. et cetera, et cetera. I, I, unfortunately, they're kind of hemming and hawing their way into a future in which 
you know, no one's going to care anymore by the time they figure it out. 